everybody and welcome back to my channel it has been a long time long time no see all that good stuff i know it's been a super long time but i've used some new stuff some old stuff did some crazy stuff yeah i don't even know where you would wear this it's summertime go out be crazy go to a party go to a pool party maybe like mardi gras or something i don't know but without further ado if you like what you see on my face please continue watching <laughs> So I'm back. Um, I have no idea what I want to do, but I want to try to use these colorful eyeliners that I got a long time ago that I have not used. I have four or five colors. This is neon orange, neon yellow, neon red, neon green, and you guessed it, neon blue. So I'm not sure which one I want to use, but I think maybe these colors not together but maybe either one of these colors i'm not sure yeah these are by glow cosmetics liquid gel liner um if you're interested in these gel liners i will leave the link down below maybe it's it was on instagram so i have to find it first but yeah i might be using these two today with the look that I'm about to make up right now. So I don't know, I have the Morphe 35B palette and I haven't used it. It has really nice colors on it. I might use this, give it a funky look maybe. We'll see. I'm gonna first start off by priming my eyes with the matte soft ochre paint pot in the color soft ochre. I am using a Morphe E27 brush to prime my eye. I'm just dipping it into the brush the dipping the brush into it and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid all the way up until I reach my brow and I'm just going to use my finger to blend it out a little bit okay since that's finished I'm going to set it with my Sasha Butter Buttercup is it Sasha Buttercup? I haven't used it in a long time Sasha Buttercup, oh, it is Buttercup, Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Just so when I blend the colors on my eyelid, it will be smooth. So the first color I'm going to use is from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. That's the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. It's the color Cream Sickle, which I've been using in my crease for the past few um, eyeshadow looks. I just really like um, this color. So that's what I'm using in my crease. And I really like this color. It is not super brown that it blends into my skin, but it's not like super yellow or orange that it makes it look strange. And it gives it a nice dimension to my eyelid because I don't have a big eyelid or like eyelid crease. So I'm just trying to, I should have went back to the other eye. <laughs> I'm just trying to blend in this color so the paint pot that I applied is no longer visible at the top. And if it, even if it is, the amount of colors that I apply after it will probably like cover it up because of the amount of blending that I'm going to be doing. Hmm. Okay, I think that's good enough so far. What do I want to do? Okay, so... I'm going to go into the Morphe 35B palette. I'm going to use this bright pink color. And then I'm going to do a purple look in lime green or neon yellow eyeliner maybe. So I have the Morphe 412 and the Morphe 330. I can never remember which one I'm supposed to use first. Uh, Morphe M330 is going to go first. In with this pink color in the 35B palette. I'm putting it right in the middle of my crease and I'm going to blend back and forth. And then I'm going to slowly blend up when there is nothing left on my brush. You ever do a look and you're like, nah, yeah, I should have did something else. We we're gonna see how this turned out. <laughs> Oh, because it's looking kind of crazy right now. We'll see. We will see. Okay. Hmm. That's good enough. Okay, so. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to take this darker pinkish color right below that shade on the 30 for the Morphe M4112 and put that lower in my crease if it is even doing anything. Uh, it's doing something but not enough so I'm going to go in with this purple shade. I don't want these things to be doing my teeth. I'm oh, making it darker a little bit. I need my trusty old Morphe 35P palette has a darker purple. So let's see how that works. Yeah, that's better. You know, like people are like, oh, you gotta build the color, build the color. I don't got time for that. I just need it to work. Going back in, going back in with the first shade um, of the pink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that will do. That will do. So. I feel like I want to do something that's going to be really ugly. But then like at the end time I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah. But I think it's going to be really ugly if I combine these colors to together. But I'm going to do it anyway because makeup is about expression. I am going to add black to the corner from the Jaclyn Hill palette. You can use any black. I mean, you can use any purple or any pink. So I'm just applying it to the corner and I'm going to use the same purple brush, well the brush that I used the purple on to blend it out. I didn't put any more purple on the brush. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carve out my crease. So I'm going back in with the soft ochre paint pot with a Morphe E19 brush. I'm just going to apply it to both sides so it can be easier to apply and I don't think I like this brush but I think I used the brush that I like applying this on my eyebrow. So we're gonna see. Now I haven't done this in a long time, so. So I wanna open my eye because I want it above my actual crease line. So the color can look bigger on my eyelid. You probably can't even see, but that's okay. Oh, okay, I deal with that. Oh, now the, not the problem, but the challenge is to try to match this eye with this eye and have it like the same shape. And that's really hard because my eyes aren't the same shape. <laughs> so let's go. <laughs> Doing my right eye is like the fucking worst. I am so sorry if it's blocking the camera, but I need to see like straight and the camera is like directly straight in front of me. I think that will do. So the ugly part <laughs> is gonna be the color that I'm going to be applying next. I think I'm just going to apply it with my finger. So it is Pool Party by Jaclyn Hill and I'm applying that to this part. Ooh, maybe. Yep, see, see what I said in the beginning. You do stuff and you're like, no, nah, it's not working out. Until you finish, you're like, oh yeah, yeah. I kind of like this. What's gonna mess it up is eyeliner. That's gonna mess it up. I'm getting a small brush so I can actually get close to that line and not really go too crazy above it. For me, I don't like, it doesn't matter if it goes super above it, but I don't want it to be like completely sloppy because it's a little above it right now, but that's okay. Oh, actually, that look pretty nice, boy. Oh, this is Morphe 124, if you were wondering. Boy, my, white, my right eye is just trash. Why can I do it easily on this side? But when it comes to the right eye, it's just like, I don't know what's going on. I'm not putting that much force on the right eye, and it's like not making it straight. Right eye low-key trash, but we're not going to talk about that side. I'm going to put the excess whatever left from the black so it can like blend in with the blue color. So the top is finished I think so what I'm going to do is um, conceal my face and finish that up a little bit and clean up the sides with concealer and apply um, bronzer and whatnot all over my face and then I'll come back and show you the rest. 
Okay, so I'm back and let's catch up. I did all the stuff that I said I was gonna do, which is putting on mascara, putting on concealer under my eyes, um, forehead, nose, chin, right here, jawline, con well, bron I put bronzer on, contour a little bit. Um, I baked already with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder, wiped it all off, and I think I look completely like a ghost. Um, so right now, what I'm going to do is do the um, bottom of my waterline. Which first, the first color I'm going to add is the purple shade that um, is in the middle of my crease. So I actually found another um, neon purple, but eyeliner. But I want to set it off with a strange color. So I think I'm still going to use the neon yellow as my eyeliner. So I have these uh, eyeliners from Morphe. One is in one is in Fashionista, it's like a purplish color. And the other one is Poolside, which is like the Jaclyn Hill color. I believe that I used on my eyelid, it is called Pool Party, which it could be a similar color. So I don't know if I want to make it too weird to either have it blend in or have it stick out, but then have it further stick out with this. Like, I don't think these two look right together, but then if I have this to blend it in and then this on top, it might, I don't know, we'll see. I don't even know what, like, what they even look like. So, let's put the colors on my eyelid, on my waterline first, then I guess I can decide. So what I'm going to use first is a Morphe E36. I'm going to apply the purple color right on the bottom lash line. I might put the uh, pool party color down there. Who knows, it might not even show up. But since I'm going weird, might as well go all out. If it's ugly, then oh well. I just wash it off, right? It's just makeup. Next, I'm going to take the Morphe 169, just a bigger pencil brush than the first pencil brush I used. I'm going to be using the um, pink shade from the first palette, uh, 35B. 35, yep, 35B, which I used in my crease to blend this color out. So I wanted to, I want it to be smoked, but not like overly smoked. So I'm putting it right on top and blending down. Boy, I got a lot of stuff in my right eye. I don't know what it is with my right eye. It's just, I think it's the angle. The angle is just messed, like completely messed up. Actually, let's see what these eyeliners look like. Ooh. This one looks like this is um, concealer, so don't mind that. So if you can see that, this is what the purple one looks like. Let's see what pool party, or no, pool side looks like. Same thing, right? Same thing. Ooh, yeah. It's basically the same color, so. Uh, oh, I think I'm gonna go with the purple. See what that looks like. Ooh, it actually looks really nice. I kinda like that. Okay, so for this yellow eyeliner, um, I'm going to apply it off camera and I think while I am off camera I'm going to put on blush, take down my hair, put eyeliner on, come back and put lipstick on. I haven't tried it. I got some new Fenty lipstick so I don't know. I can't remember which color I have so we're going to see if it works with this look. So when I come back it's going to be mostly finished but not completely finished because this is really hard to put on and I want to be close to a camera and you have to, I mean close to uh, a mirror and you have to like apply multiple layers to get it really thick or like really noticeable so I want to put it on correctly this is gonna look weird be right back okay so I'm back and remember when I said that this wasn't gonna look good it's gonna look ugly yeah, I like, cause this looks bomb. Now I gotta choose what lipstick I'm going to wear. I'm pretty sure, um, because of the eye look, I'm probably just gonna go like dark or something. I don't know. So I have three uh, Fenty Beauty. <gasps> oh, I got a blue one. These are like both like a pinkish color and a reddish color. The color is Griselda and dang it, and Spanked. I have a blue one. So oh. 
Here it is. It's fake. So I usually keep a little basket right here so I can just like pull stuff when I need it. This is in it. This one is clap back. Okay, I think I'm gonna put the clap back because I'm already going with the, the dark, crazy theme, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but this is my first time actually wearing it. So we'll see how it looks. Oh, it's probably gonna be dark. No, no, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, hmm. You know when you have like second thoughts and you're like, hmm. I mean the color is nice, but with the look, I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Now you got, ooh, no, no. You gotta put these on with like precise angles and shit. So I don't know. Let me go look in the mirror. Oh wait. But to bring you up to speed, I applied mascara to the lower and the bottom lash. Lower and bottom. To the top and bottom lash line. And I sprayed, oh, I put highlighter on, which is in the color Opal by Becca. And I sprayed my face with setting spray, setting powder. Setting spray, and I used the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray Cooling and Hydrating to set my face. So right now, I'm about to go look in the in a big mirror to see how this actually looks to see if I actually like it. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so what I decided was that it takes a special type of person to pull something like strange or awkward off. And when it comes to me, I'm that perfect type of person. So, in my opinion, this right here is bomb. It is something like, I think it like really describes my personality, like the inside of my personality. The part that you don't see too often, but it's just weird enough that it looks good. That's what, I think that's what this is giving you. And that's why I like it. So, this is actually the final look and if you liked it please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.